Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Krompiatek from Coley at Kinesis College. In this video, we will learn to how to create a digital signature using Adobe Acrobat DC. Having a digital signature can be important. It makes a document feel more professional and makes people think you actually took the time to read it rather than just simply going to and filling in the text box. Let's get started. This tutorial will be done in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC though we would be remiss if we did not mention that there are multiple programs and other ways to achieve the same or similar results. This tutorial will work similarly both in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC and Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. All faculty and staff at Canisius College should have access to Adobe Acrobat Pro DC and it should already be downloaded to your computer. To open Adobe Acrobat, I will just navigate to the PDF document that I want to add my digital signature to. I'll right click on it and then I can either select open with Adobe Acrobat DC or go to open with Adobe Acrobat DC in the menu that pops up. I'll scroll down to the end of this document. This document does not contain anywhere for me to actually put my signature but that won't matter here. On the right hand side there should be an option to fill in and sign right here. I'll click on that. When I do you'll get this new menu item that appears. It says fill and sign and you've got this text box thing that you can use. You can type there and then you can type in something. You can make it smaller, larger, delete it. You also have an X that you can type in, check boxes, and so on and so forth. What we're interested in is sign yourself. When I do that, there'll be two options to add a signature or add initials. I'll click on Add Signature. When I do that, Adobe will automatically create a signature for me that I can then edit myself. For example, maybe I want to put uh, an initial here, or perhaps they got something wrong. I can also change the style by going to Change Style in the bottom right hand corner. And I can save the signature by making sure that this checkbox is checked. Then I can hit apply. When I do that, I can simply click on the document where I want the signature to be. I can again then make it smaller, larger, or I can resize it myself by clicking on this circle in the bottom right hand corner. I'll leave it like that. I can also draw my own signature. So I'll click on sign myself again. And I'll see this gray circle with a minus sign next to it instead. I'll click on that to delete the signature that Adobe saved. And I'll click the plus sign to make a new signature. And then this time I'll go to draw. You'll get this little crosshair that you can then click and drag to actually start creating your signature. So this took me a a few attempts to get down and I'm still not too happy with how I've got it so if you need to clear your signature and start over a couple times don't feel bad about it. Again make sure saved signature is selected and then I'll hit apply and I've got my signature following the movements of my mouse again. I'll click I can resize, delete, and so on. I can also upload an image of my signature to Adobe Acrobat and the program will turn the file into one more suitable for e-signing, also known as electronic signatures. I'll click on sign yourself. Again, I'd have that gray circle with the minus sign in it. I'll click on the plus after I do that to add a new signature and then I can select an image. I've already created an image of a signature that I created using pen and paper by using my phone to take a picture of it. So it's on my desktop and I've got testsig.jpg right there. I'll click on open. It's best to do this on a piece of uh, blank computer paper because as you can see I've got my lines right there. And what you will see when I hit apply is that Adobe will actually take care of the white space and it will keep it as white space. But it will keep these lines here because, well, obviously I've got lines there. So again, save signature, apply. I'll click wherever I need to. 
So I've got three different signatures. Each one of them has their own uses and some are easier than others to actually create. But when I'm done, I can then save my PDF document by clicking on the little save icon up here. And that will automatically save my PDF here and any changes that I've made to it. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at helpdesk at Have a great day and thanks for watching.